What's going on everybody? Today we're going to talk about how to use the rapid implementation spreadsheet to just upload a chart of account structure including value sets, values, and account hierarchies. So let's get after it. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to prepare the chart of accounts in the spreadsheet. We're going to load the chart of account zip file. We're going to review the values and the value sets. We're going to review the chart of account structure and we're going to review the hierarchies. Okay, so what we're going to do in order to just load the chart of accounts is we're not going to do step three and we're going to simply arrange this file for the sake of of the look and feel, we're just going to take out a few things. So this one right here, I'm going to change because I don't want the word ledger or anything like that in my chart of accounts uh, value set. So I'm going to rename this, say, something easy to find, Apple Co. Done. This stuff right here will all be ignored because they all tie out to this. All of this is still important. So here's your segments. Here's your labels, AKA in EBS, your um, qualifiers, and here's the length of each and every one of those. Now, the next thing I will do is just for the sake of aesthetics, take out the business stuff, come over here, and I can still take out this stuff, which is the legal entity, because I'm not gonna create a legal entity because I'm not gonna run step three. So in essence, everything else stays the same. All right, so you set your natural accounts up like this, you'll find this file in the article that is indicated in the video description here on YouTube. So here you can find the location, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This again, doesn't matter. So we'll go all the way back to the beginning and we'll do a validate. Successful, no errors. I don't want to look at the reports. And all I have to do now is run this generate thing. Now I have a file here, I'm not going to put it in documents, I'm going to put it in de desktop. I have one that I ran before that's the same name, so I'm just going to clobber that, overwrite it, and it's done. So this is all set up, you'll find this file, the sample file, but this is basically the structure. You get your super parents, your sub parents, and your children under each and every one of those. And of course, you do have to indeed set the retained earnings account. I think it it requires it for the validation, but it doesn't require it to be set up in terms of the, the, the value sets. So that's set. This file that we've created, this Apple zip file, this can be taken to any Fusion instance. You don't need to go into the spreadsheet. You can take it and you can kick it off and you will get these value sets fully loaded with the values, with a chart of account structure, with a, an instance of the, of the structure, and you'll be ready to manually configure Oracle from there. So the next step is to upload this. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're actually going to upload the zip file that we created from the spreadsheet. So we'll go to setup and maintenance, then we'll use the search, find rapid, and then find the upload chart of accounts. Let's go get the file, Apple Co zip, Okay, and we're just going to put in a note so we can track it. I'm going to do a submit here. And let's just kind of reorganize this so we can see more. And I will speed this up. And once it's done, we'll close it up and start to check. Okay, so let's go take a look at what we created. We'll go to the value sets. First one will be the account. There it is. Notice it's already assigned to the flex field. And here are the values. Now let's go over and do cost center. Look at the values. There they are. Now let's check enter. There they are. And let's go for company. And there they are. And location. Values. And there they are. So all the value sets are done. Okay, so now we'll go over and look at the account structures. General ledger. And now let's look at manage structures. Search for all of them. Find my Apple. And 
examine it. All good. Take a look at the company for an example. See, we have the primary balancing segment, label set, etc. Right, now let's go look at the instances. Apple, there that is. Let's go examine it. Notice it's all set up. All is again good. Perfectly done. Okay, so let's exit out of here, go all the way back, and now we will go and find the hierarchies. Manage account hierarchies. Let's put in account. And there's the hierarchy for the account. And let's put in company. And there it is for the company. There's two set up with this, the base and the current. And cost center. There it is. And last but not least, location. And so there you have it, a full chart of account structure, including value sets and values and even hierarchies. So that's gonna do it for this one, folks. If you found the information useful, why not consider using the subscribe button like a bookmark so you can have easy access to the information without having to search for it when you need it. I really hope you enjoyed your visit today and I will catch you in the next one.